Next up is Crew-9 Commander Nick Haig. Hi, I'm Nick Haig, NASA astronaut and Space Force Colonel. And here's nine things you might not know about space. Three, two, one, ignition, ignition full power, and liftoff of Crew-9. Go SpaceX, go Falcon, go NASA. So the International Space Station travels at 17,000 miles an hour. That's roughly 25 times the speed of sound. So fast that it goes around the Earth once every 90 minutes. That's 16 times a day. Two, the International Space Station is so big that it took over 100 launches and 100 spacewalks to assemble, and the only place that it could be assembled is in space. Three, the moon. So you might think because I'm in space, the moon looks different, but the International Space Station is only 250 miles above the surface of the Earth. The moon is 250,000 miles away from the Earth, so we're only a thousandth of the way there. So it actually looks pretty similar to what you can see on the ground. Four, space is congested. What does that mean? It means when I go to the window of the International Space Station, I can see the other satellites, especially when it's nighttime outside and we're about to sunlight. The sun's light will reflect off those other satellites. Five, we recycle 96% of the water that we consume on the space station. I'll let you think about that one. Six, showers. Well, in space, everything floats. So if you had a shower head and you turned the faucet on, the water wouldn't fall to the ground. So we can't take a shower in space. So I was up there for six months and didn't take a shower. Seven, we don't do laundry. I can't, I don't have a laundry machine up there. So how do I, how do I deal with that? Well, I wear things until my crewmates tell me to change them. And then we pack them into the trash. We put them into a cargo vehicle and then that cargo vehicle will burn up when it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. So we burn our dirty clothes. Eight, calluses. Calluses on the bottoms of my feet. You may not think about it, but I was up there six months and I never used the bottoms of my feet because I was floating the whole time. So the calluses disappeared on the bottoms of my feet, but they reappeared on the tops of my feet because I have to hook my feet underneath handrails in order to hold myself into position. And so the calluses move from the bottoms of my feet to the tops of my feet. After I land, it goes in reverse. So I've got calluses back on the bottoms of my feet now. Nine, sleep in space, beat sleep on earth any day. All you do is close the door to your crew quarters, turn out the light and fall asleep. You just fall into a natural position and float there and you're floating so gently that as, as you bounce off the walls of your crew quarters, it doesn't even wake you up.